Japanese. Atoba Akomato san ni o hi kashi masu. Good morning, everyone. I am Makoto Okamoto from Japan, the president and producer of Academic Resource Guide Inc. and the project leader of Save MLAK project. It's a great pleasure for me to have this opportunity to report from Japan to you. And I want to say thank you for all of your kind support to Japan after the great earthquake and tsunami in March 11, 2011. Today, I want to tell you about our wiki-based collaborative relief project. It is called Save MLAK. Please see this slide. This is the Save MLAK wiki. Soon after, later, <coughs> soon after the March 11 tragedy, we launched the wiki system to aggregate and share detailed information on the damage to cultural institutions, including museums, libraries, archives, and kominkans. Kominkan is a kind of community center in Japan. I believe that our experience through the great earthquake and the tsunami in Japan is useful for everyone, because natural disasters can happen to anyone anywhere. No one is free from the risk of natural disasters like earthquake, tsunami, flood, hurricane, cyclone, tornado, epidemic disasters, influenza pandemic, and so on. I hope I can offer of you some knowledge and information obtained through our about two years experience. The very next day of March 11, I, I started the Save Library Project, the relief project for libraries damaged by the earthquake and the tsunami. At first, I launched Save Library Wiki using a free wiki platform called AtWiki. Then I announced on Twitter that I launched Save Library Wiki. It is a portal for gathering information on the damage and appearing for aid for damaged libraries. Please join and work with us. I appreciate your retweet and the posting to library mailing list. You may wonder why I started such a project just after the disasters when, when confusion was everywhere. At that time, in fact, no one had a grasp on the whole, <coughs> whole picture of the damage from the earthquake and the tsunami. However, most of us were gradually realizing that it was an unpredictable tragedy far beyond our imagination. I asked myself what I could and I should do. I did not have any ability to save human life directly. I'm not a doctor or nurse. I'm just a producer of cultural institutions. What can I do? What kind of role can I pay, play? I found the answer in information aid. I once worked as a web producer in Yahoo Japan about 10 years ago. I produced Yahoo Answers in Japanese, Yahoo Chiebukuro, it's a Q&A service. So I had some experience in launching and managing web-based community for mutual cooperation. I realized that information aid was a role and a task I should assume. This is why I launched Save Library Wiki. Collaborators appeared immediately after launch of Save Library Wiki. My social stream of Twitter became full of related tweets like this slide. As the project progressed steadily, similar movement emerged. 
As I said, I launched the Save Library Wiki at noon of March 12. It's the very next day of the tragedy. A person who was working for museum launched the Save Museum Wiki in the evening of the same day. In addition, Save Archives Wiki was launched on the following day. And Save Kominkan Wiki was launched next week. This series of actions were started by those who were influenced by Save Library Wiki project. The Save Library Wiki was a good example of relief aids for other kind of cultural institutions. At that point, we, I mean, those who were working for relief aid for libraries, museums, archives, and communicants came to know and cooperate with each other beyond the difference <coughs> different different beyond the difference of institutions. After a few weeks of cooperation among Save Museum, Save Library, Save Archives, and Save Kominkan, we naturally came to hear and consider the need to integrate these, these whole activities. In fact, we were already keeping in contact with each other. For example, it was very common that members of Save Library helped other wiki activities, and vice versa. In response to this gain of momentum, we decided to integrate these whole separate wiki systems. From April to April <coughs> 11, the integration of the system and the project was completed. We launched Save America Wiki and started Save America project. During the during the integration process, we switched to Media Wiki, although each project was on at Wiki. In addition, we reorganized the main communication tools, including mailing list and the social hashtag of Twitter. So far, I talked about the beginning of Save America project after March 11. Now, Let's move on the contents of Save America Wiki and the co <coughs> collaborative activities based on Media Wiki. What kind of contents are in the Save America Wiki? This is the front page of Save America Wiki in Japanese. But from these links, you can access the English and the Chinese version of the front page. This week has various contents. One of the main contents is detailed information on damaged cultural institutions. You can view the information by the area and by the type of institution. I'll show you later. Here are two numbers. First one is the number of the damaged institutions by earthquake and tsunami. Second one is the total number of institutions in the area affected by the disaster. At present, Save America Wiki contains information on approximately 1,000 damaged institutions and 25,000 institutions in total. Please see the, <coughs> the next slide. This is an example of the detailed page of each cultural institution. This is a page of Minami Sandik Town Public Library. This library was completely destroyed by tsunami, and one librarian died. Each page mainly consists of five parts, including fact sheets, details of damage, operation status, relief efforts, and source of information. For example, these lines are address and rat wrong of this library. We created map display <coughs> using this data and Google Map API. Most of, the most of the descriptions are written manually by real people, with the, except with, with the exception of some automatic and mechanical processing. This page of Minami Sandik Town Public Library has been edited about 40 times by about 10 people. Of course, using Media Wiki, complete history of revisions has been saved, and you can see the difference between, between the versions. 
in addition to these contents. There are four other type of useful pages targeted for different type of users of CyberMK Wiki. First, information for the victims of the disasters is offered. For instance, you can find libraries that offer them public access. Second, this is the information for supporters who work for the victims and or affected area. If you are working for preservation of damaged materials, such as books, magazines, and other valuable materials, you can access reliable information on how to rescue and preserve such materials. Third, if you want to work for the victims, you can find various ways of contribution, such as donation, registration as pro bono volunteers who provide professional service, and so on. Fourth, information for those who work for cultural institutions is also provided. Unfortunately, these are all in Japanese, but I think you can read basic information through Google Translation or other similar services. Please see later. Now, I'll show you some statistics of CyberMK Wiki. How many pages are published in CyberMK Wiki? How many people are working for the project? How many times have the page been edited by volunteers? Please see this slide. The total page count of CyberMK Wiki about, is about 30,000. 30, about 20% of these pages has been generated by human editing. Remaining pages have been generated automatically by programming. The total number of editors is about 300. The number is very close to the number of the members registered in our mailing list. Approximately, 300 editors have edited CBMK Wiki 300,000 times in these two and a half years. And I'll show you some charts. This chart shows the change in the total page count in these two year and a half years. Please see the next chart. It shows the change over time in newly published pages. <coughs> now, even now, the still the page is uh, published. This is a total. <coughs> this is the total uh, edit counts by editors. Thirty-eight editors have edited more than one hundred times in these two years. This is a last chart. It shows the change of page views and the unique users. Also, page view is gradually decreasing, declining, but number of unique users is still over 20,000 in monthly average. As you can see now, at least in Japan, CBMK Wiki is one of the most successful Wiki-based collaborative projects. This is a surprising, surprising thing in Japan. Because in Japan, even Japanese Wikipedia has some difficulties in expanding collaboration. Japanese Wikipedia has a lot of users, but most of them are just readers and viewers. It has only 8,600,000 articles. Also, more than 100 million people speak Japanese. Actually, according to the statistical data, on the number of articles by language, the number of Japanese articles is ranked 10th, as you can see in this chart. How could CMMK gain powerful support in such a situation? Why do we have more than 300 editors? And why did they take part in editing CBMK Wiki? As a matter of fact, at first, about 90% of our editors did not have any experience editing Wikipedia or any other Wiki platforms. For most of us, 
except for a few people, Save America and its preceding wiki, such as Save Library, was the first experience in involvement in and the editing of wiki. We have found that beginners of wiki system often feel fear in three aspects. First, fear about the wiki system. Second, fear about the descriptive rule of wiki. And third, fear about co-editing on wiki. I'll explain more in detail. Fear about the wiki system is unavoidable. Obviously, the wiki system is a little more complicated than other to web tools like blogs, Twitter, Facebook, and other social media. It would not surprise me if beginners of wiki system could not create a new article or rename an old article. Second, the wiki system has many rules in two senses. There are so many system-based global rules like markup, history, and so on. Moreover, there are all the domestic descriptive rules in each wiki. Even Save America Wiki has domestic editing rules and formats, as I said before. Sad, even today, we are not familiar with web-based collaboration work, uh, <coughs> sorry, with, with, with web-based collaborative works. When we collaborate with others on Wiki system, sometimes we experience this communication like edit conflict. It is very ordinary accident for experienced wiki editors, but beginners do not think so. To deal with these three types of fear commonly experienced by those who have just started using the wiki system, we always encourage them in three approaches. Actually, these approaches are very simple and easy, but some patience and tolerance will be required. I think this is a key element of my speech. First, we always recommend beginners to ask other members using Twitter, the mailing list, and other means when they have questions. Posting on Twitter with hashtag Sharp Save MLK is most recommended. And we never say, please check help and other guide pages. Everyone has a first time. Everyone is a beginner at first. Also, we always forget things. We cannot remember everything because it's a human nature. Just asking someone is the best way to learn and remember. This is our philosophy. That's why we recommend them to just ask others without any apologies. Second, we created simple rule and formats. In the Save MK Wiki, we have defined only five main human eating fields, including details of damage operation status, relief aid, relief efforts, and source of information, and fact sheet. The structure of article is very simple. In addition, we do not require editors to always use markup. Iki system has a lot of potential. One of such potential is co-editing. If someone does not complete the whole description, others can feel in the missing parts. Editing the whole article is not the responsibility of a single person. At the same time, we always try to show an understand, understanding attitude toward beginner's failure. If someone makes a mistake when trying to edit an article, it is not a big deal because Others can re-edit the article and correct the mistakes. This is what each system is how. In fact, 
having an experience in editing wiki is more important than avoiding mistakes. Mistake can be recovered, but we cannot recover beginner's willingness if we get angry at their mistakes. Third, many people are not familiar with web-based collaboration works, collaborative works. They fear, they fear troubles with other collaborators and hesitate to re-edit and modify the text written by other people. They become obsessed with concerns like, they might get angry with me if I edit their documentation. However, content of CMMK and any other wiki can be defined when edited from various perspectives. This is also one of the characteristic features of the wiki system. To deal with their fear, we always recommend them to edit the text written by others and make sure that no one will get angry with them. We tell them that if they make a mistake when they edit, we can roll back to the previous version based on the page history. These are our mindset for wiki-based collaboration. However, this mindset is not the solution to all problems. We sometimes need more practical solutions. One solution is Wiki Festival. Wiki Festival is a kind of event where we get together from April of year 2011 to September of year 2012. We have had 11 Wiki Festivals. The events are held globally at the same time, and we set up some real sites in Tokyo and other cities. Everyone has two options. One is participant from home via internet. The other is participation as a real site. In Wiki Festival, we get together and work together, usually in <coughs> accordance with the selected topics, such as enhancement of the page of museums, libraries, archives, or communicants. In Wiki Festival, we have a tutorial session by well-experienced editors, which are broadcast live via Ustream. In the sessions, beginners ask experts questions and experts answer. The festival also provides opportunities for offline collaborations. Statistics, statistics shows that the obvious effort of Wiki Festival at each wiki festival, CBMK Wiki was edited an average of 1,200 times by an average of 30 people in every time. Clearly, wiki festival increased the commitment to editing CBMK Wiki. I think this type of gathering event can be a good example for your Wikipedia and other web-based collaborative communities. I would like to add one more thing before ending. Our CBMK activities are not limited to web-based wiki collaboration. We have also provided intermediary support between other supporters and the victims. I'll show you the example. As I mentioned before, Minami Sanic Town Public Library was completely destroyed by tsunami. This is the old site of the library. <clears throat> but people need a library. People need public access. People need institutions that guarantee the right to know. After half a year from the tragedy, we started working with people of Minami Sanic to rebuild a library. After so many problems and struggles, at the beginning of this year, the library finally moved from the temporary building to the permanent building. In this reconstruction project, 
Members of Save America project played an intermediary role to, co to coordinate as our supporters and the people of Minamisanic town. This is another example. This is a new Natori City public library. Natori City located in the south of Sendai City. <coughs> this library, <coughs> Natori City was attacked by the great tsunami and about 1,000 citizens died. The building of the library was not affected by tsunami, but seriously damaged by the earthquake. As well as people in Minami Sanic, people in Natori City also need a library, and the things it offers. Again, members of CBMK played an intermediary part in the library reconstruction project. We introduced the library to the founder and the university which provide, provide the good construction method. As a result, in these two years, Natori City built two libraries, as you can see in this house. These are only a few examples. We still have a lot more experience in similar intermediary support. Why did I mention these cases? What is the meaning of these examples? This approach originated from Wiki-based collaboration called Save MLAK Wiki. Efforts to launch and maintain Save America Wiki have made our friendship and trust strong. That's why this kind of relief activities became possible. I think I can even say that these are the model case of O2O online to offline. So far, I talked about our Save America project for relief aid after the great earthquake and the tsunami that occurred in year 2011. We launched Save America Wiki using Media Wiki to aggregate and share information on the damage to cultural institutions, including museums, libraries, archives, and cominkans. This project shows us surprising outcome of web-based collaboration using wiki system. However, it is not an easy experience. We learned many lessons. Today, I'm here to share our lessons for user enhancement of your, <coughs> of your wiki communities. I hope our experience will be bring you some new insight and findings. Finally, I want to express my thanks to all members of Save MLK, especially Dr. Yuka Egusa and Dr. Masao Takak. They are here today. Uh, Yuka and Masao, please stand up. Uh, they are here. So uh, thank you, Yaka. Uh, they are engineer. <coughs> they are engineer and a researcher of information system. Uh, they are <coughs> so. And look at them, please, again. So <coughs> now I'm wearing. So we brought some goods and items uh, of the same MLK from Japan. We are asking for donations for supporting our activity. So, of course, uh, 300 people are volunteers, but as you see, uh, we have to maintain the wiki system on the EC2 of Amazon. We have to pay to Amazon every month. So, it will take uh, some costs. So, 
after this session, <coughs> uh, after the Jimmy's talk, so coffee break will be held. Uh, then please visit us and please see the <coughs> those goods and please donate for us. And I also have to return <coughs> to my thanks to Wikipedians in Japan. Some of them have been constantly helping us since the launch of CBMK Wiki. And thank you, <coughs> Mr. Christian, and other local host members and members of, of mem and members of Wikimedia Foundation. Your coordination is very excellent. To close my speech, I would like to say thank you again for all your kind support to Japan. After the great earthquake and the tsunami in March 11, 2011, I would never <coughs> forget uh, your kind support. Maybe it's the same. <coughs> uh, it's the same thinking. Uh, most of <coughs> Japanese are they are thinking same way. So, still, but still, we are struggling with so many problems. But I believe we can get over every problem by always keeping the spirit of wiki collaboration in mind. Thank you.